Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to day two of my 31 Days of Horror. Uh, today I'm bringing you a film from 2009, like 2009, 2010-ish, and it stars Kevin Costner. And I did not know this movie was actually a creature feature until I was in a group and someone said, hey, anybody seen this one? I'm like, what the hell? So I checked it out, checked out the trailer, and definitely bought the movie because it was actually really good. And that's called The New Daughter. Uh, sorry, I got some glare here. Uh, the new daughter stars Kevin Costner. He is a father who just got divorced from his wife, and he brings his kids down to a South Carolina uh, house that's in the middle of like, a swamp forest area. It's the middle of nowhere because uh, he's a writer, and he just wants to do his job and write. <clears throat> his daughter is very rebellious, but still kind and everything, but she's your typical teenager. Uh, she's the girl from Pan's Labyrinth, pretty much. And uh, she is, you know, doesn't want to be there. She doesn't want to make new friends, blah, 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 blah. The little boy just doesn't care. He wants to be there with Dad. He doesn't understand what else was going on, but he's happy. So one night, the girl sneaks out <clears throat> to the woods and because there's nothing else to do. And she lays on this big-ass mound. And she's kind of like at peace, you know. She's happy, but she starts to hear stuff. And they start to hear things out in the in the woods. Well, when night comes, she comes back different. Uh, she's all covered in mud. She's all covered in sticks and bugs and shit. And it doesn't phase her. And then all of a sudden, you know, she starts becoming more and more aggressive towards her family. Uh, starts more aggressive in school. Uh, she's getting into fights. So animals start go missing around the farm, uh, the, the poor cat goes missing and everything. So Kevin Costner's trying to figure out what the hell's going on. He thinks, it's a, is it a normal teenager thing? Is she going through a phase? Well, he did a little research in the home and come to find out some strange occurrences a occurred there and he was pissed because no one ever told him about this. Well, come to find out, it was like an old ancient... Indian burial ground or something has to deal with this big ass mound and it's changing his daughter so therefore now he has to figure out what he would do to save his daughter what great lengths is to change and to help save her uh, so he goes and gets help from different areas no one believes him except for this uh, professor who wants to come and then all shit goes crazy uh, my thoughts on this the creatures actually looked really cool uh, definitely different. I like the way they looked and how they moved. Uh, the storyline was actually pretty good. I wish they did more with the professor and what's going on with them. That kind of seemed a little rushed, but what they did was fine. I wanted more. The ending was good. <laughs> uh, I'll just say it's not your typical happy ending, so you got something really cool. Uh, this movie is PG-13, so there's not a lot of gore in there. Um... There's no nudity or anything like that. But you have yourself a good creature feature, and I definitely recommend checking out The New Daughter. Um, I have a possible 10. I'd probably give this one maybe a 7 out of 10. It's watchable. It's a good time. Um, again, I like the way the creatures looked and everything. So I'll definitely check it out. Kevin Costner did a, a great job acting in this role and playing this character. So I thought it was pretty neat. So yeah, if you like, you know, type of changeling type movies or anything like to do with uh, mimics or those type of creatures, you might like this one. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, this is day two of my 31 Days of Horror. We did The New Daughter. Stay tuned for more, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned. Peace.